In my home, when Don and I call the kiddos together and establish rules for them to obey, it's always a serious time, and what we share is expected to be taken seriously. What isn't always understood is why we are establishing the rules. But because mom and dad have made them a topic of concern, the boys can see them as meaningful and serious. Rules like washing your hands and taking showers, they seem ridiculous and, and make no sense to nine and 11 year old boys. But later on in life, they'll understand. Well, in Leviticus chapter 12, it's probably the shortest chapter of the book composed of eight verses pertaining to ceremonial impurity after given birth and the purification rite for cleansing after childbirth. Both are not the most exciting topics for sure, and circumcision makes every man squirm. But at the heart of God's love for and protection for his people, these ordinances are given. These ordinances laid out to new mothers and pertaining to baby boys may not seem that important, but they carry great meaning and even protect the mother and the baby boy. This passage states that the mother should remain in her purification isolation for 40 days if she has a boy, and 66 days if she has a girl. Teacher David Guzik teaches that one important reason for this time of purification was to give young Jewish mothers an ancient equivalent to modern maternity leave. Here, ceremonially uncleanness relieved her of many social obligations. Mothers welcome these days of rest, seclusion, and bonding with their newborn. So this time of purification could be seen as a burden or a blessing. Little boys were to be circumcised, of course, for hygienic purposes as they learned later in life, but also as a reminder that they were sinners and that by cutting away of the flesh was an appropriate sign of the covenant for those who should not trust in the flesh or trust in their own efforts, but lean on the Lord. Now, as followers of Christ, we do not have to keep the commands of God to be saved, and most all of these ordinances do not pertain to us. But if we know the grace afforded us through the cross of Christ Jesus, we should see the Lord's New Testament expectations of us as a blessing and recognize that the Lord loves us and has our best interest at mind. So read these laws in Leviticus to see God's heart for his people and intentionally make efforts to not entertain the flesh according to our New Testament requirements, even if you do not fully understand all their purposes. It may be like washing your hands as a little boy. They do not seem important now, but later they'll take greater meaning. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly love.